Welcome back to the channel guys, I am Sam. Changing dirt bike tires sucks. Let's just be honest, it takes time, it's a lot of effort, but having the right tools for the job really makes a big difference. This is one of those tools. We're gonna open this up, we're gonna do some tire changes, so stay tuned for that. All right, welcome back. So if you guys aren't already subscribed, hit the subscription button. Also, if you guys wanna pick up one of these Tusk motorcycle changing tire stations with the bead locker, there's a link in the description. Go check it out. All right, guys, let's open this up. So there are a few different types of, or ways you can change tires. You can put the rim on the ground and change it, which I don't recommend. You can also, use a bucket or um, whatever you have laying around in the garage or you can buy one of these stands. Now I have a actual stand and this is a, a Tusk portable motorcycle tire changer. So it's more portable than the tall stands, meaning you can put it on the ground, put it on a table, haul it in your trailer or something like that. So there are uh, some assembly instructions here. We'll check this out. So. Let's pull this bad boy out. See what's in the box. Everything's powder coated. There have been people that have wondered what this is. Like, yeah, that doesn't fit, that's a Tusk tool. I don't know why you would put your tools there because that is in the way when you're changing it, changing the tire, so. But we're switching to more of a gummy tire, the new uh, Tusk Talon tire. Really been wanting to try that out. So yeah, I got one sitting up there on the wall. You really want to push the, the bead into the middle of the tire so that you can get, you can get it off. So. hybrid this is supposed to be a extreme enduro type tire we're gonna throw it on our KTM 300 to see how long it lasts got to do some trail building up at the cabin of course I can't get this sticker off All right guys, final thoughts on the Tusk portable motorcycle tire changing stand with the bead breaker. Now let's talk about the things that I absolutely love. I really, really love the portability of it. You, I could throw this in the trailer, the back of the truck. I could do, you know, trail side fixes or in the trailer or something like that. Really easy and mobile, which I like. I also really like the rubber up here on the top of the the you know this stand really nice and i do like the bead bake, uh, breaker it really does help speed things up now let's talk about the things that i hate so the number one thing i absolutely hate is this i do not know what this is when i'm spinning the the rim it basically the spokes get caught on it and i have to pick it up and move it which is super annoying i'm also wasn't a fan of getting this piece onto this basically you know the this was too tight and it took me a bit to get it on had to heat it up a little bit and then bang it on but anyway not not super awesome there um, but once it's on it works fine it does its job and this 
I didn't use this, this as much, but I don't use this on my normal uh, dirt bike changing station or stand. Um, but, you know, if you're using the bead breaker, you do want to make sure this is tightened down because you just lift this up. So you either got to put a lot of weight over here and push down, or you just got to tighten this down. But it just makes it hard to move once this is tightened down because of the rubber, it's harder to spin. So a lot of times I'll just pop this off and so I can move, or if I have to pick it up to get around this, then uh, yeah, I'm gonna cut that off. <laughs> Don't like that. All right, guys, let me know what I missed. Anything else? What uh, tire changing station do you use for your dirt bikes? Let me know in the comments below. And uh, as always, guys, thanks for watching.